Well, Scott, what a difference a year has made. At last was Patrick's first on the senior circuit, and this year he wins his first Grand Prix event, and he does it as the youngest member of this men's national team. Many skating fans say watching Patrick Chan move across the ice is unforgettable. But what's hard to remember is how young he is, a tender 17 years of age. I don't try to think about that too much. You know, people keep reminding me and I say, yeah, I know, but you know, that's, I don't want to think about that when I'm skating because I'm going out there, I want to skate like a 20 something year old, right? And skate as I'm very mature. And that's what people are saying, that I skate maturely and that's exactly what I want to do. Emotionally mature and undeniably talented. This season, Patrick Chan shocked the skating fraternity by winning one of this year's biggest competitions, the Grand Prix of France. <laughs> I remember just looking at my coach, I was like, what the heck, are you serious? Because I was like, come on, like, this can't be possible. I think people realize that they, also because it was my second year in the, the Grand Prix circuit, they saw the potential of my pro components. It might not be a Long Biel or Evan Lysa check, but, you know, it's a work in progress. An exceptional work in progress for a relative newcomer. Besides wowing the judges in Paris, he finished third at Skate America, qualifying for the Grand Prix final. A spot in a competition reserved for the top six skaters in the world. I'm so glad I'm only 17 compared to what the other guys are, like 20-something, right? I don't feel as pressured as I do um, with them, which also explains how well I did at the Grand Prix because I didn't have as much, I didn't feel as much pressure. Ironically, one of the circuit's youngest skaters is coached by one of its oldest. Don Laws was a successful coach decades before Patrick was even born and he's worked with some of the world's finest. But even he marvels at the potential of his new protege. The level that Patrick is at right now is virtually inconceivable. I have never seen anyone as proficient, as talented in all departments, physiologically, as psychologically and mentally. No matter what his birth certificate seems to suggest, Patrick's flair and potential is unforgettable making him a legitimate threat to win this year's national title. Aim high, you know, why not? I did this year at the Grand Prix, I aimed for podium finishes at both. So and I did finish with two medals at both, so I mean, it's great, you know, and it's, I, it's to be expected, you know, I, and I should push myself and set it high. And Scott, one of the things that has made Patrick so successful this season is his mastery of the triple axle. He's competed it in every competition, landed it every time with the exception of the short program the other night. He has one planned for the free skate this afternoon and I had a chance to speak with his coach Don Laws just a little while ago. He said he doubts he will make that same mistake again and is just going to work the kinks out in warm-up right now. Scott? Well, thank you so much, Brenda, and the potential of youth, the great future of Canadian men's figure skating. Patrick Chan has only just turned 17, and Tracy, another landmark happening here from another young Canadian skater, Kevin Reynolds. Kevin's just down the road in Port Coquitlam, British Columbia, 17 years of age. He landed a quad, triple, triple. Only one skater in the world has ever landed that before in competition. It's Evgeny.